Hi Gemini, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your When Will You Meet Your Soulmate Tarot reading. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And thanks so much in advance for watching. Let's have a look and see, Gemini, when will you be meeting your soulmate? Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is Earth Energy. Uh, you do have quite a bit of water here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Earth Energy. So I'm inclined to believe that a lot of you might be meeting through this, uh, the time of water signs, uh, which would be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Now, let's start off with the Seven of Pentacles here, Gem. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. A soulmate is coming in at a time when you're going to be thinking very differently about things. It's almost like your perspective has changed or is going to change and that's when this person is going to come into your life now i'm not sure if they're going to have an impact on you in the fact that they're going to change you oftentimes when we connect with people that will mean so much to us we tend to change ourselves who we are how we think and our perspective and i feel like there's something about a change in perspective or inner transformation that's going to occur now, I'm not sure if this is going to occur just after you meet this person or before. Nonetheless, I feel for a lot of you, this person is coming in at a time when you're doing a lot of self-reflection or self-analysis. The Seven of Pentacles looks how far he comes in a situation. And it's very much a symbolism here of deep contemplation and thought and being proud of how far you've come. So... Yes, there might be an element of becoming more grateful. Say, for example, uh, if you're more appreciative or you're more grateful for what you have, how far you've come, the experiences that have shaped you, the person that you are today, I feel like that, that self-reflection, that attitude of gratitude is definitely going to um, be going on when this person enters your life. Now, for a lot of you, it might be that you're contemplating changes, living situation, career changes, um, changes to the self, um, self-transformation. For a lot of you, that's when this person is going to come into your life. And look, it might even be through career. The Seven of Pentacles can be material success. It can be having a lot more in your life. And that's when this person is going to come in. So you've got a lot to be grateful for, grateful here. Um, and it could even be at a time when you've collected resources, when you reached a certain paycheck, a certain level in your career monetary or material wealth that could be when this person is coming in but to be honest i think it's more of a something to do with a shift in perspective or contemplation you'll be thinking about life differently thinking about your future differently or how you want things and that's when this person is going to enter your life now the king of cups is here and he does represent a very deep bond and a very strong love attachment or falling in love now, for some of you, this might be the case that you're already falling in love with the soulmate or you already have them in your life. They're already an established presence in your life. You might be in a relationship. You might be married. You might be connecting. You might be starting to date this person. For a lot of you, there's already an established connection in some way, shape or form. The King of Cups can represent the water signs, much like these other three cups cards. So I said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you might have already connected during these times, or you may connect um, in these times. The King of Cups is being at a certain emotional level here, however. And he can represent the subconscious sometimes because of the underwater, the fact that he's uh, floating on, on the surface level of the water, but underneath it's the murky depths of uh, the subconscious. But he's also come to terms with feelings. Um, and he symbolizes things like forgiveness, trust, being in tune with the subconscious, uh, the subconscious mind. Um, uh, being at a certain level in, in emotionally and this is emotional enlightenment because there is no one higher than the king of cups at least in regards to the emotional water realm so what i see for a lot of you um, gemini's uh, this person is coming in at a time when there's a lot of compassion or self-love or even forgiveness it could be that you've 
they come into your life at a time when you're finally reaching an emotional state of bliss, of self-love, of self-appreciation. Um, this could even be re uh, reconciliation somehow. So reconciling with any sort of trauma, uh, reconciling with other relationships, other significant relationships in your life. But I feel like it's coming to terms with emotions. Forgiveness could be closure. But emotionally, you're going to be very, you're on a high, you're on an emotional high when this person comes into your life. You'll be feeling excited. Uh, you'll be feeling thrilled. He holds the royal regalia. So you've got things in your life. You'll have things in your life going for you that are bringing in a lot of excitement and joy. And it could be that you find, you know, a creative pursuit that's very, very rewarding. It could be at a time when you turn a hobby, something you're very emotionally passionate about and drawn to, when you turn that into a career success, for example. It could be at a time when you have a lot of a lot more love to give, or you're much more open with the love that you're giving to people, or you're much more vocal about the love that you share for other people as well. And that excitement is further supported by the Three of Cups. This is all about um, excitement. This is about um, socialization. This is about connecting with other people. This is about repairing damaged relationships. Um, so for a lot of you, it's almost like you're going to be inundated with a lot, new, a lot of new people, one of which is, is going to be the soulmate. So it's going to come in at a time when you're focused on your friendships, on your relationships, on building rapport with clients. I feel like this person is going to be among the key people that are going to show up into your life. So it could be three people significantly, like you might meet a friend, you might meet the soulmate, and you might meet someone new you start working with, and you'll bond individually um, with these people, but it's a, you'll, you'll establish a strong emotional connection with them. Now for some of you, this person is coming into your life through social events, through um, enjoyments. Um, through partying, okay, through the social circle, through the social um, sphere, through that sort of environment. Um, but it is about relationships. It's all about celebration, celebrating success, celebrating something. You might be celebrating some sort of accomplishment, you Gemini, and this person comes into your life. You might be celebrating a good cause. You might be celebrating a career success. You might, you might just be celebrating life. But the, the, the emotional and mental state will be so ripe and so perfect for you to connect with this soulmate. And these are like the three muses in Greek mythology. Um, you know, the three goddesses of fate, I should say. And that's what they're called. And they literally design our lives, you know, in, in, the, in the classical mythology, it is, it is them who determine our fates and the life we live and how long we live and who will we encounter, who we will love. So it's very amazing that the notion of fate, serendipity and divine design um, is coming in around you here, Gemini. So that's very, very powerful. You also have the Ten of Cups, so I'm inclined to believe for a lot of you, this person is already around your life, is already around you. You're married, you're going to be married to this person, you already hold them in your hands, you felt their love, you felt their spirituality, you felt them in the physical, okay? There's been affection here for a lot of you. The Ten of Cups is the rainbow in the sky, it is a card of happily ever after. Um, and if this person is coming in around this time of your life, it's something around family, relationships, um, love, affection, but also at a time when you're looking at the rainbow, also at a time when, again, it's perspective. And per perception is everything here, Gems. But I, I feel with the Ten of Cups, for a lot of you, it's almost like you're chasing the rainbow and in the process this person comes. And that's really beautiful and it can mean different things, Gemini. For a lot of us, you know, the rainbow can symbolize a lot of things. Material success, happiness, adventure, spontaneity, rebuilding connections, finding a hobby, finding creative pursuit, finding a zest for life. You know, the rainbow is so colorful and there's so many different experiences we all want to have and achieve and acquire um, into our lives and in, in many different um, facets of our lives. But essentially, the, the point is, is that you'll be chasing the rainbow or you'll be enjoying the rainbow. I think for a lot, 
a lot of you gems, you'll just be enjoying your life and the state your life is in. And that's when this person is going to show up. Now, they might come through family events, through extended family social circles. Um, you know, you might have a very good family friend that introduces you to this person. Uh, but I feel for a lot of you, um, it, this is also about stability. Stability in relationships and stability in family. Could be a new living situation as well. Okay, some of you, the home here could symbolize uh, a new living situation. So say, for example, you might move overseas and then you meet this person, you connect. It could be that you move elsewhere or you finally establish roots. Um, it's anything to do around changes or more stability in the 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 family home or, um, you know, that sanctuary. It's something about a sanctuary, a dwelling. So for a lot of you, you're meeting when you're establishing roots elsewhere, maybe Gemini. Um, but that is quite exciting and emotionally, I think you'll be at a really good space when you meet this person. You'll be on a high, you'll be happy, you'll be just purely enjoying your life and what's coming in around you and then that's when you meet and connect with this person. But I definitely feel for a lot of you, this person is already a presence in your life. Whether you're talking now or not, whether you're connected now or not, um, they're, they're around you in some way. Okay, you, you've noticed them. We all notice the rainbow in the sky, so you've noticed them. You've acknowledged them somehow. Um, for some of you, maybe not for all, but for some, I do feel that that's the case. I will leave it at that, though, Gems. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in.